Hello friends, welcome to Vivid Kemi YouTube channel. This is Vidyashri. In this video, we will discuss about complementary and supplementary angles and a few questions from the previous year's question paper of Karnataka TET examination. And these type of questions can be asked in other competitive examinations too. So this video will help the aspirants of Karnataka TET examination and the aspirants of other competitive examinations. In the end of this video, I'll tell you a trick that you can easily remember complementary and supplementary angles. Do watch the video till the end. When sum of two angles are 90 degree, it is called as complementary angles. In the figure, angle A and angle B adds up to give 90 degree. Therefore, A and B are supplementary angles. Or we can tell angle B is supplement to angle A. Example for complementary angles are 60 degree, 30 degree. So, these two angles add up to give 90 degree. 50 degree and 40 degree so whenever sum of two angles is equal to 90 degree we call those angles as complementary angles whenever two angles add up to give 180 degree the angles are called as supplementary angles so the sum of two angles should be 180 degree to become supplementary angle from the figure sum of angle x and angle y is 180 degree therefore angle x and angle y are supplementary angles as an example we will consider 120 degree and 60 degree these two angles are supplementary angles now we will see few questions based on this topic of complementary and supplementary angles as an example if it is asked to find the complement of 30 degree so we will find the complement as complementary angle so let us consider it as x so x is what we have to find and Angle X as well as 30 degree are complement to one another. It means their sum is 90 degree. So how we can find the X is by taking the difference between 90 degree and 30 degree. This comes out to be 60 degree. Moving to the next question. The difference between the two complementary angles is 40 degree. The angles are option a 65 degree 35 degree option b 70 degree 30 degree option c 25 degree 65 degree option d 70 degree 110 degree so we will solve this now let us consider angle as x and the complementary angle as 90 degree minus x and in the question it is given the difference between two complementary angles x and 90 degree minus x are complementary angles so the difference between x and 90 degree minus x is 40 degree now we will simplify to solve this x minus 90 degree plus x is equal to 40 degree 2x is equal to 40 degree plus 90 degree and therefore 2x is equal 130 degree x is equal to 130 degree divided by 2 x is equal to 65 degree now we need to find the other angle it is 90 degree minus x so 90 degree minus x is 65 therefore the other angle is 
twenty five degree. And the right answer here is option C twenty five degree sixty five degree. Instead of solving like this, you can use a trick. With all the given options, you check by addition. Say option A, you have sixty five degree and thirty five degree. You add them both, and you see that you get hundred degree. And option B, addition of these two angles is hundred degree. Option D, they add up to give one eighty degree. It's only in option three when both the angles are added, you get ninety degree. So from just addition of the given two angles in the option itself, you can tell which pair makes complementary angles, and therefore the right answer is option C. Next question: The measures of the two angles are x plus twenty five degree and three x plus fifteen degree. Find the value of x if angles are supplementary angles. We know that sum of supplementary angles is equal to one eighty degree, and they have given two angles, which are supplementary angles. So we will add them both: x plus twenty five degree plus three x plus fifteen degree. Their sum is equal to one eighty degree. So x plus three x is four x. Twenty five degree. Plus fifteen degree adds up to give forty degree, which is equal to one eighty degree. So four x is equal to one eighty degree minus forty degree. Four x is equal to one forty degree, and x is nothing but one forty degree divided by four. And x is equal to Thirty-five degree, and the value of x is thirty-five degree. Next question: The angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio of two is to three is to five is to eight. The sum of the supplements of the largest angle and the complement of the smallest angle is. Option A, sixty degree. Option B, seventy degree. Option C, eighty degree. Option D, fifty degree. Let us consider the angles as two x, three x, five x, and eight x. And in quadrilateral, sum of all the four angles that is equal to three sixty degree. So we will apply that. Two x plus three x plus five x plus eight x is equal to three sixty degree. Eighteen x equals three sixty degree. Therefore, x is equal to twenty degree. We have got the value of x which is equal to twenty degree. So, therefore, writing the angles, two x is now two into twenty is equal to forty x, and the other angle is three x. It is three into twenty degree. So is equal to sixty degree, and the third angle is phi x, phi into twenty degree, which is equal to hundred degree, and the fourth angle is eight x, which is equal to eight into twenty degree, equals to one sixty degree. The largest angle among the four angles of the quadrilateral now is one sixty degree, and the smallest angle. Is forty degree. In the question, it is asked sum of supplements of the largest angle and complement of the smallest angle. So first, we will find the supplement of this. Supplement of largest angle we need to find. So supplementary angles add up to give. One eighty degree. So therefore, supplement of this angle is one eighty degree minus one sixty degree equals twenty degree. And the complement of smallest angle is asked. So complement of forty degree we need to find. So that is nothing but ninety degree minus forty degree, which is equal to fifty degree. And they have asked the sum of this sum of supplement of largest angle and complement of smallest angle. Therefore, the sum is 
ट्वेंटी डिग्री प्लस फिफ्टी डिग्री विच बिकम्स ईक्वल टू सेवेंटी डिग्री एंड द फॉर द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन बी सेवेंटी डिग्री नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द सप्लीमेंट ऑफ वन थर्टी एट डिग्री ईज ऑप्शन ए फोर्टी टू डिग्री ऑप्शन बी फोर्टी एट डिग्री ऑप्शन सी थर्टी एट डिग्री ऑप्शन डी नाइन्टी डिग्री इट इज आज टू फाइंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द सप्लीमेंट ऑफ वन थर्टी एट डिग्री फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड द सप्लीमेंट ऑफ वन थर्टी एट डिग्री सो विच इज नथिंग बट वन एटी डिग्री माइनस वन थर्टी एट डिग्री विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू डिग्री नाउ द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ फोर्टी टू डिग्री वी हैव टू फाइंड विच इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री माइनस फोर्टी टू डिग्री विच बिकम्स इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट डिग्री द फोर द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी फोर्टी एट डिग्री If you have a confusion between complementary and supplementary angles, here is how you can remember it easily. We have studied that complementary angles add up to ninety degree. Ninety degree means right angle, and here is how we draw ninety degree angle. Now the angles which add to give ninety degree is complementary angle. So ninety degree, we draw it as a corner, right? So complementary and corner, you can remember it like that. And now, how to remember supplementary angles? The angles which add up to one eighty degree are called supplementary angles, and you can remember this easily by remembering a straight line. We have studied that sum of angles on a straight line is. 180 degree so supplementary angles add up to give 180 degree s yes, you can remember for straight line so this is how you can remember complementary and supplementary angles without any confusion and that's it for this video we have discussed about complementary and supplementary angles and a few questions which had been appeared in the previous years karnataka tt examination like and share the video the contents provided are useful to you subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the first time do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos thank you for watching